morning everyone it's uh, Friday morning end of the week this is video number 325 your pre-opening comment and a reminder please subscribe if you appreciate the work well uh, we had uh, the PPI number this morning a few minutes ago and it was down two-tenths of a percent the estimate of it expected was up four tenths so uh, that's uh, a bit deflationary uh, core which uh, eliminates food and energy was also down three tenths of a percent and they were looking for an up number there uh, Asia was a little bit lower China included uh, the European markets are up slightly, and uh, we have, as you can see, the oil is again lower. But what I want to point out here is that we have a cross of the 50-day going through the 100-day, and uh, that generally portends a, a pretty decent move, as you can see. Uh, when after we bottomed, when the five went through the twenty, we continued up. When the twenty went through the fifty, we continued up, and now we're getting the fifty going through the hundred. So, uh, as weak as it is, it tends to be uh, in an area I've been mentioning before of support between thirty-seven and thirty-eight, uh, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it pretty much turn on a dime. Uh, it came down yesterday on increased uh, inventories, which uh, evidently was a surprise. The airlines are exceptionally soft this morning. Uh, Australia is cutting 50% off allowed inbound flights. Uh, UAL debt was downgraded at uh, S&P. And uh, other stock news, Goldman Sachs updated, pardon me, upgraded Netflix and raised their price target from 540 to 670. Now, uh, before the uh, PPI came out, the market was down about 180. Uh, a few minutes ago, it was actually about unchanged. Uh, but now is selling off again and looks like it'll open down about 70. It's a little early to be calling the open, so uh, we'll have to see how that develops. Uh, S&P was down about 20, is now down 5, and the NASDAQ is about unchanged. As I mentioned, the oil is down a bit. Uh, I'm going to go back to the main page just to make sure, uh, but gold was up about $10, now up 12 and a half. The silver is up 1687 um, These are decent moves back to the upside after yesterday's decline, uh, and I'm assuming that I probably won't take a new position in the silver. We still are long the gold in uh Newmont a spread the 6570 out in the August expiration. Uh, the as you can see the futures are lower 1550 in the S&P, but uh, that doesn't take into consideration uh, the fair value number. Uh, the dollar is up in a very minor way. Uh, Bitcoin is down a little, and the bonds are up 30 basis points. Uh, we have a bunch of the uh, electric auto plays uh, getting a lot of attention. Uh, there's uh, a SPAC with the symbol SPAQ, Spartan Energy, which it looks like is rolling uh, FISTA, FISCA, the electric car company out in Canada into that. Uh, NEO, which is the Chinese electric car maker, which was $3 as lately as May, 
uh, closed yesterday 1457. This morning has traded as high as uh, 1790, and the last is uh, 1608, uh, which is um, up another half a dollar. Uh, Tesla is not doing much. Uh, this morning it is up a little, and Nikola, the hydrogen play, is uh, has come up from forty dollars on the Morgan Stanley recommendation a couple of days ago uh, to trade uh, almost sixty yesterday, uh, but it came down a bit and is down another three and a half this morning. All right, everyone, uh, looks like it's going to be. Uh, strange day. We'll have to see which of these wins out, whether it's the uh, euro uh, or the U.S. dollar. Uh, also, uh, I mentioned yesterday that the day before yesterday, we had the lowest price 10-year note auction, and rates were around 0.65. Uh, that has continued lower uh, earlier this morning, uh, they were as low as 0.578. Um, this is not a good sign uh, for the markets, and it certainly is not a good sign for the financials. And when I say financials, you have to understand uh, a lot of the financials are based on yield, not just the banks and their lending margins. Uh, insurance companies who have to support their claims also look for yield. So uh, the AIG and travelers of the world also have a problem. Annuity firms have a problem. Uh, bottom line here is that soft interest rates are a problem. Uh, unfortunately, with the amount of money floating around, uh, you know, if you're not buying uh, stocks, you're really not getting paid for your risk. All right, everyone. Last on the Dow looks like down 50, and I'll be back later if there's anything to say.